Oftentimes when we work in Revit API, we need to get default types of our elements. And there's actually a very easy way to do this. And there are two methods. The first one is get default element type IDs. And the second one is get default family type IDs. And the difference is if you wanna use native elements like wall, floors, region, views, then we need to use this method. However, if you work with loadable families like window, doors, generic models, then we have to use this method. In this video, I'm gonna show how to use both of them and it's actually very simple. Let me show you. Let's go to the code and we're gonna start coding. This is the regular template I use, it's very minimal. There is name and description, our minimum imports and variables. Then if I scroll down in main, I've appeared two sections. In here, we're gonna get our native families and in here, we're gonna get our loadable families. Let's start with the first one. In here, we're gonna try to get our default wall type ID, floor type ID, view plan type ID, and region type ID. And it's gonna be very simple. We're gonna use the doc variable, and then we're gonna look for get default element type ID. Inside, it takes one argument, which is gonna be default type ID, and we need to use class of element type group, and it's enumeration. So when we're gonna write element type group, and put a dot, if you have Revit API auto suggestions, you're gonna see all the examples. In case of wall, we need to look for wall type, now let's copy to all the other lines as well and now we can look for floor and in here you can see we have view type drafting elevation rendering and right here is the floor plan and i want to get region as well it's going to be field region type now these are all ids and we can turn it into elements very simply you can use the middle button on your mouse to make selections like this and then we can start coding here i'm going to paste it remove the id in the end and then we're going to write doc get element we're gonna provide it because all of these are element IDs and this is gonna return us elements. Let's align it a little. I'm gonna write here, convert to elements. And lastly, let's display our results. In this case, again, I'm gonna use the middle scroll button. And we're gonna paste it here. We're gonna write print and paste it inside. Now let's go to Revit and actually see if we're getting any elements or we get any warnings. Once I click on the button, you can see I get some wall type, floor type, view family type, and field region type. And so far, it works great. We can also print their names. I'm just gonna write here element, name, get value, and provide this type inside. The reason we do this is because if I would write wall type name, oftentimes you're gonna see a warning because for some reason we cannot read this property like this. But we can read it like that. I'm gonna run it again. You can see here are the names of all my types. Now I can comment out this part and let's have a look how do we get our loaded families like window, doors, generic models. So I'm gonna write here door type ID, window type ID. We're gonna get generic model type ID. Let's align it. This time we're gonna use doc get default family type ID. Let's paste it for all of them as well. Now inside we can see with control Q that it takes one argument family category ID. It has to be element ID of your categories. It's very easy to do. I can write here door category ID equals, we just used element ID and inside we provide built-in category that we're trying to get. It's also, we can keep it in one line. We don't need this variable. And now we can copy and do the same for windows and generic models. Here, we're gonna look for windows and then generic models. Then same as before, we can convert this element IDs into elements. We just need to copy all this and we paste it right here. And also, don't forget to rename your variables. Now, lastly, let's also display our results. I'm just gonna uncomment the previous one. And then we can copy all of this and paste it right here. Now, let's save and have a look in Revit if we're getting it correctly. Once I click on it, you can see I got the names of my types for the doors, windows, and generic model. And this is how simple it is to get your default types in Revit API. If you have any other questions, just leave a comment and maybe I'm gonna make a video about it. Thank you, and as usually, happy coding.